you know, it's not so bad. I mean, at least they got a bingo machine. Yeah. Good thing I don't have a Zagan. I mean, who drinks that shit? I, I think it's only there for restaurants to have when they don't have bingo. Yeah. I mean, like, it, you ask for bingo at a restaurant, and they're like, is Zagan okay? And you're, and you say, yeah, Zagan's fine. But you know what? Zagan's not fine. Zagan is never fine. Because nothing will be fine again, as long so long as you have Zagan. God. Anyway. You know, I don't think I've ever even seen a Zagan machine. I don't know. Maybe they have them in the Orochi offices or something. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, God. They always they have to drink nothing but Zagan. It sure is good to see someone... Living. Glad I don't work for Orochi. Me too. <sighs> Sandy, is there anyone else here we should know about? Oh, I knew everyone in Kingsmith. A safe community isn't a spectator sport. I memorized that one. And Sheriff Bannerman preferred to have me walk in the beat, you know, while she handled house calls. That suited me just fine. You know, our folks were a good bunch. They only cause a ruckus when they've had too much of the, uh, you know what. But recently I got talking to Sandy. That guy's pretty philosophical. Wait, Sandy? You wouldn't know it to look at him. I mean, I, I, mean, I don't personally have a problem with bikers. I, I'd like a motorcycle myself. Oh, Moose. Anywho, he made me really consider it, you know, whether you really ever knew a person. I told him how in second grade I met Anna Redmond behind the gym every day for two months. We would hold hands. I, I thought I knew her pretty good. She left town all of a sudden one day. Halloween. Jeez. Always Halloween. I told you it was Halloween. How could it be Halloween, though? I mean... I'll I'm just add that to the time. list of shit what makes no sense. So, yeah. Aunt, that Andy, totally gay. I mean... I don't know if I was with you before, but I think I kind of get it now. I mean... He thinks that... You're supposed to the girlfriend just hold hands. Well, I think that's just what he thinks you're supposed to do with anyone. I think that's as much as he gets the concept of sex. I mean, I definitely yeah. think he's got something for um, <clears throat> Sandy. Yeah, let me talk to him. There's nothing like the confines of a cubicle or a packed subway to give a man perspective. I was so caught up in the grind of office politics and the endless hunt for affirmation and money, I didn't realize I was getting sick. Friend, I was no more lithe than those things out there, and a sight less mobile. The disease that grew inside me was as black as theirs. Freedom lies in being bold, said Robert Frost. So, I boldly quit my job and traded my rent-controlled apartment on Christopher Street for a vintage Harley and an old poncho. Found my salvation in the open road, and I haven't looked back since. Back in my old life, I always wondered what was around the corner I didn't take, down the road I didn't go. That's how I ended up here. Up to my elbows in machine grease, rigging bombs. <laughs> Relax, my friend. I got plenty of experience blowing shit up. I got a handle on death and the instruments thereof, and no desire to see the infinite darkness claim any of us quite yet. These mechanical servants of the Reaper will stay still and silent till I'm good and ready to push that button. Traveling the big countries taught me everything from bull riding to bonsai. Enough to cause a man to lose his appetite for destruction. But circumstances require us to yield to the greater good. Even when that greater good isn't all that pretty. Road here said I'd be pitching in with soft-shell lobster season. Instead, I found nightmare country. Maybe the very rotten heartland of it. But I'm philosophizing. Life is sacred. Every moment is precious. Which brings us right back around to blowing up dead guys. I've got no shortage of time or ideas. What I'm lacking is the nuts and bolts of it. I could fill a shopping cart down Main Street. 
but getting out there and back, that's what's kicking my ass, my friend. I shall get him parts for a bomb. That sounds like a safe and fun practice. Let's see, what is he looking for here? Oh, you gotta be shitting me. No, honey, that's fairly standard. No, no! The Fight Club recipe? Oh, yeah, of course the Fight Club recipe. That doesn't work! It's... it's junk! No. It was a joke! No, see... It's a joke... It's a, yeah, it's a joke. But it also works. What? No, it doesn't. It does. Until people next have time. tried it. It doesn't work. Oh, uh, you see, that's that's the thing there. You know, we, we put up a smoke screen, control the information. We give people just enough rope to hang themselves with, metaphorically speaking. Yeah. I mean, it's more like we give them just enough napalm to burn themselves to death, except that we didn't actually do that. You lost me. Okay, uh... You get, like, flour, milk, and egg. Eggs, sugar, all that. What do you make with that? Okay. Okay, good. Now, let's say you have uh, a gallon of milk, a teaspoon of flour, 17 eggs, one grain of sugar, and you bake it for a week. What do you get? <laughs> Shit! Exactly! Now, you take equal parts uh, gasoline, kitty litter, and frozen concentrated orange juice, you mix them together, you get shit. But you do it in the right mixture, with the right time, you get something... something different. I bet. Also, I mean, alchemy is a thing. Oh, well, okay. Yeah, it is. I mean, you've used it several times. Have I? Oh, yeah, yeah, I have. I think that Sledgehammer would have, like, horns or glowy runes or something by now. It has a ring on it. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. See? Oh, yeah, but it's not glowing yet. Well, it's kind of dark. No headscarves from fashion around here. Like Babushka style. Yeah, this town's full of surprises. Also zombies. Wait a minute. How am I supposed to get up there? You climb. I don't see any chaos. <laughs> chaos is a ladder. So is that what those dragon I hear about think? Something like that, yeah. It started with stomach spasms that felt like writhing lamprey nests hatching in his belly. Then Joe could hear the hagfish singing in the crushing depths, even when he pretended he could not. Even when the Q-tip snapped in half in his bloody ears, madness bubbled in his brain like the bends. Then pale flesh, then barnacle sores, and wriggling growths in sea cucumber discharges. Now Joe feels the itch and burn as different species of coral battle for privacy of his chest spitting up their digestive enzymes in time-lapse warfare. Something scuttles out of one body cavity to be eaten by something hiding in another. And though the seagulls scream a hundred thousand stories, all Joe can hear is, Jog, Jog! Jog, Jog! Jog! I hear a seagull, and it sounds like Jog to me now. Thank you. I just hear, like, mine, you know, from, the find from Finding Nemo. Jog? Jog? Wrong. Faction rank increase. Congratulations, rookie. 
for doing that? CG is kind of random with the promotions. Good job. You really nailed this one. Keep this up and there's a place on the winning team when the dust clears. Oh, it's a yard sale. Look what they have over here. Oh my god, is that a book of voodoo? Maybe. It's a book of voodoo. Well, look at that. Look at the contents here. Powder that can disorient and stop zombies. Okay, like, you know, I did that summoning ritual, but that was kind of there. They started it, so... Well, but, you know, nothing good comes of magic. Nothing good. I mean, you're kind of alive because of magic. I said nothing good. Oh, that's, you know, that's, that's harsh on yourself. Yeah, well, yeah. It's worth a shot. I mean, how much worse can this, you know what, I'm not going to finish that sentence. Fine. What do I need? It says, uh, some, some sand, some pumpkin seeds, and some potting mix. Just any old sand will do? I mean, it says beach sand. It's going to be dry. Dry beach sand? Yeah. Isn't that kind of a contradiction? Well, you can have dry beach sand. It's gonna be like way far back. But then it stops being beach sand. No, I think like the beach is a definition beyond witness. That was awkward. It was. Never speak of it again. We can suppose the Lady Margaret fled both Maelstrom and monsters. The engine came back to life. Some instruments found lucidity. The boat made its way back to Kingsman. The fishermen kept the strange object they found themselves. Some argued to sell it on the internet. Others said it should be brought to Innsmouth Academy for identification. They decided to bring it to the esoteric school. The next day brought the fog. Time passes, first in screams, and then in moans. I think this will do. Oh, now who's... You were all concerned about, oh, it's not from the beach. Well, you're the one who said the beach is broad enough to cover anything. I didn't say anything. Let's see what this is. Our wisdom flows so sweet, taste, and see. Transmit, initiate, plague, signal. Receive, initiate the murder of one. Now there's no going back and there's something undead in your mind and your eyes and your heart and your head. Illumine the local legends of New England. Witness the revenants. What's your revenant? I don't know. Oh wait, yeah, I think I've seen a revenant before. Wasn't it the thing that attacked me on a disturb the crows? Oh yeah. Alright, I got the voodoo stuff. Okay, now it says you need a fire. What is a fire? Yep. Convenient. Quick access inventory updated. Much better than Bleach. I don't know, how many characters did it have? A lot. Been running for a few issues, so you know. A lot. But yeah, I think I think it's Teddy Kubo's best work. That that's not how you pronounce that. I've seen his artwork. Fair enough. Okay, let's see here. Let's just try this on one of them, and it should be disoriented, right? Oh god! What? What I tell you about magic? All right, well, uh, kill, kill the word spreads, word mates. Okay. 
We don't tell anyone about this. Yeah, disoriented. But I'd be disoriented too if I became the Incredible Hulk. Well, it still seemed pretty oriented on me. Allow me, allow me to apologize for seeming abrupt, impersonal, and presumptuous. I simply feel it is my duty to inform you this isn't KG, is it? Well, oh no, she's actually being civil. Uh, the embellish policy, this seems, sounds British. Yeah, I think you need to be more British. To inform you that you have been exhibited great competence in the field, and if ever you should tire of all work and the mere promise of play... More British. Be like the guy from, from Wonder Woman. Look, I'm not saying it would be easy or even possible the way things are currently stand. Kirsten is far full of cheer and encouragement, I presume. Where well, I've met a few times at council meetings, I find her terribly acute. Take a stroll through London sometime, breathe in the tradition, and see how it feels. That's all I ask. Or Sonic. Hello! I think I might have drifted into French aristocrat there. There's a lot of overlap. Who's Sonic? Oh, he's the, he's the Templar's version of KG. So why is he messaging me? That's a good question. Joe Slater is the only one left. One by one, his fellows went away, like the deceptively vicious plot of a children's rhyme. Each is a tiny story in the belly of a different gull. And then there was Joe. But he is just barely Joe. Perhaps it was the object or the primordial soup he swam through to get it that passed on the fish oil leprosy. So... What object are you talking about? I don't know. It uh, doesn't ma say. Maybe we're... Maybe we're not getting these in the right order. Uh, of course. They stand outside of time, as they said. Something like that, yes. Oh, no. I lost my husband of only a week to the fog. He followed the calls and walked into the sea like so many others. Why was I spared? I don't know. But living without him now that I just found him is punishment worse than death. I won't go after him the pier to save him or join him. Oh, no. Oh no, oh no. Oh, oh. Dear. I know what happened to him. At least, I mean, he's still hanging by the. Oh, wow. Place, so. It's, it's even worse. Oh my god. Yeah. I hope she wasn't here when he came back. But she said she was going to the, um, pier. Maybe there's still time. Do you still time? You never know until you, until you try. Focus! Our aperture opens in Kingsmith. The fog came and the townsfolk walk into the sea, and something that was lately them walked out. The dead that walk, horrors from the depths of the ocean and the chill of the earth, rising with unnatural hungers. The clothes and dead faces look familiar, but the vacant eyes hold none of the hopes and emotional relations that once inhabited the husks. They answer the call of the drog. Wait, wait, did the beast make a pun? Oh god, they did. Maybe, oh no. Ooh. And her shoe came off. Why does that bother me so much that her shoe came off? I don't know. It's, it's getting to me. Oh my god! Oh! Okay! 
Oh. Did I just beat up a ghost? You just beat up a ghost with a hammer. How did that happen? Mm -hmm. Wait, just drop this pendant. Better get that. Yeah, it might be important. It's cute how you went out of your way to learn this insignificant woman's fate. Fuck you, KG. Seriously. Piece of advice, a bleeding heart can only weigh you down. Fuck you. Luckily it wasn't a total waste. The pendant of hers might be worth it. I'll have the nerds take a look at it and find out how it protected the owner from the fog. Who knows? You might just come out of this with something. Fuck you. Mm. Fun fact. Queen Cleopatra was wearing a similar trinket when she offed herself. Not saying the two makes pattern, but I think you see where I'm going with this. That was not a fun fact, so fuck you again. This is not the time, KG. This is never the time. That is not fun. <laughs>